Just slam it, you have to slam it like hell. Okay. There you go. Endless folds of hills. They just keep going all the way to the brewery, all the way to the ocean. You know, that in itself has had an impact on us. So the countryside that surrounds the brewery has had a profound impact on the way that we behave as brewers. You know, we never ever sat down and said, okay, what about sustainability? You know, brewers have been practicing efficiency forever. We had to be efficient in order to be competitive. That ultimately collided with the need for sustainability. I love bringing people up here because it tells the whole story of the brewery. So this site was chosen, uh, it's very important because it's, it's over uh, the Salinas River aquifer, which originates here in the Los Padres and heads north to the Salinas Valley, uh, which is one of the most important agricultural areas in California. It's just a real breadbasket. It's no secret that it takes a lot of water to make beer. Uh, I'm sure many people wonder, like, wow, how can they afford to make so much beer in California where water is such a scarce resource? However, uh, that gallon of beer, yes, leaves the brewery. Most of it goes into the local market. The rest of that water is processed in our wastewater plant, in our effluence system. We're able to regain some energy from that. And ultimately, we're discharging water that is in better shape than we started with. This primary pond is about six million gallons. Um, and then after primary treatment, we utilize the second and third pond that are separated by this baffle curtain just for settling and final polishing. And you can see that the quality of the water in these ponds is good enough for mallard ducks at least. So it's a nine and a half acre solar array. It actually moves with the sun, which is I actually think it's pretty cool. You know, it generates you know, it depends on the time of year and the time of day, but the majority of the energy that we need to run our lemonade stand behind us. I've been told it offsets about the same sort of carbon footprint as a 4,000 acre forest, which is, I don't know who calculated that, but uh, that's extraordinary. terms, just because you can fart in the cinema, why do it? You know, it's, it smells and everybody around you is sort of upset with you. You know, if you can reduce your impact, reduce it. So welcome to Cold Block 4, and this represents in many ways the pinnacle, I think, of some of our engineering challenges and opportunities. We've been focused on making it as efficient, as sustainable, as well engineered as possible because we recognize that this is our home, this is our kitchen. You're looking at a brewery of the future. What's interesting is, is the longer you're in the brewing business, the more farmers you meet. You know, everything that comes into the brewery, the malted grains, the hops, they're coming from farms. And you learn through that process how important sustainable business is. You know, we see when the farmers practice more sustainably uh, agricultural practices, uh, the hops get better. You know, um, there is always an improvement with thoughtful, sustainable practices. The more that we brew and the more raw materials that we buy, the greater responsibility we have to use those materials wisely. And it's not just about the bottom line, it's just about doing the right thing with the material that we're purchasing. We will be passing this on to the next generation and we're putting them in position to make world-class beer um, in a sustainable manner, in the best possible way that we know how going forward. You know, we really all believe that we're actually doing something interesting um, and something that, you know, like we're all bricks in a wall. And um, it's a cool feeling. It's a cool feeling hanging out with people who just sort of feel in the right place. 
as an energy, it's sort of a force multiplier. And my hope is that 30, 40 years from now, when I'm old, doddering, and deeply retired, I can drive by that brewery and it still looks as vibrant and healthy um, as it does today. And you know, we're building long term. I get a little uh, emotional almost uh, to see where we've taken this thing and would never have dreamed that these things uh, would happen. Um, and it all happened through beer.